Hey everyone, Coach Steve here. Today we're going to dive into some side sword for your enjoyment and education. Side sword does certain things better than any other weapon and certain things it doesn't do better. Let's show you what we mean. First and foremost, let's examine the design of the side sword. It has one fairly prominent feature and that's a circle right here above the cross guard that you can put your index finger in. This allows for more nimble false edge cuts and deflections as well as manipulating in the bind. And as Coach Lee's preferred weapon, I can tell you with great certainty that it is very fast when you're on the receiving end of his cuts. What this characteristic does not allow for, though, are grip switch style techniques, like with the Messer or an arming sword. However, this does not diminish the weapon's effectiveness at delivering powerful cuts and defending angles effectively. Now let's examine the sword on its own. All swords cut, but the side sword will cut and thrust equally well. Just like in Rapier, I can create a wedge with my sword and control my opponent's blade, but if he displaces me, following it up with a cut is that much easier. This gives the side sword a wonderful variety of options for attacking and defending. viewers, if you're enjoying what you see, perhaps you'd like to join our free Discord server and chat with like-minded sword enthusiasts from around the world. If you want to join one of our online classes, check the links below. Lastly, we're going to examine using a side sword with a secondary, in this case, a dagger. There's a very simple, single-time defense and counterattack you can perform with the dagger. When defending a downward descending cut, you'll frequently see it defended blade edge on with the dagger. The problem with this is the mass of my weapon is significantly smaller than the mass of my opponent's weapon, so frequently her attack will just blow right through and hit me in the head. Not ideal. A better way of doing this is to stab the sky with the dagger, drawing my opponent's sword into a trap that I can then spring, which keeps her sword in place for me to easily bring my tip up and counter thrust. When you get really good at this, it happens at the same time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And as always, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do this without you. And as we always say, don't put in the training, you won't get the result. All swords cut? What about me? A small sword. I don't cut. Then are you really a sword? Or are you just a glorified shish kebab skewer?